Hey, hello. What? Welcome. My God, my skin looks awful. I hate it. I also don't know why I'm wearing these because it doesn't make you hear me better, nor does it make me hear myself. Anyway, it's me in the same spot that I'm always in. I think I'm gonna die here. Today is an interesting day, to say the least. Here's the tea. I have used Logic for essentially the last two years to film vocals for my sessions because of COVID. We weren't able to go to any type of session. So everything was done at home. So I literally recorded all of my vocals in this closet. Your girl came out of the closet and went back in on a daily basis. And if that's not <laughs> in, Anyways, we can't believe I just existed without a microphone in my hands. You know what I mean? So today, Rob, who you guys have seen in my merch making video, he is my project manager and he is going to be coming over today. We're going to be going through some brainstorming of YouTube ideas, but we're also going to be going through Ableton for the first time. And I guess I kind of wanted to show you guys the process of me learning to do something for the first time because it's scary to me and might be scary to some of you and maybe watching somebody else figure it out makes you a little less scared to try something new for the first time. Yeah, I was doing a vlog. Hello people of the internet. I just ate a slice of cauliflower pizza and boy oh boy was it one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. Do with that information what you will. Rob is here. Rob, do I have your consent? Can I put you on camera? Oh, ignore this giant box. Vlog is called producer. I hardly know her. <laughs> I feel like I am now super excited to like start digging into it. We were just playing with some sounds and I was like, oh, I can use strings, I can cool use guitar, sounds. I can use weird sounding synths. The world is at my fingertips. You can do anything. But there you go. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm making, bored. just pulling a Bach, you know. Be like the cat, you know, like do, 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 do. I'm trying to become the cat meme. We have to go to a bar and the bar is outdoors. So. And also I'm socializing. I mean, the people I'm socializing with are incredible, but also like just being social is like mentally exhausting for me. So I'm gonna be cold and tired. It's gonna be great. But this is quite literally me. <laughs> I don't know which jacket to wear, so I put this on. But I can't tell if this is like cool or if I look like I'm about to captain a ship. This is giving me Captain Jack Sparrow vibes, which maybe isn't the vibe for a bar. Or maybe it is, maybe we're giving the most. We just finished at the uh, bar and I froze my fucking ass off. It's so cold. I couldn't feel my hands. <laughs> I can't feel my feet. And now we're gonna go get some udon because it's fucking brick and I'm like not having it. So best of luck. Okay, well, the other place that we were gonna go to is closed. So we came to the ramen place that I took you guys back from our last video, video before. It also looks like I got like lip injections, but I just anxiously bite my lips, so they're ruined. But I gotta have to eat some ramen, it's gonna be good. Good morning. I I forgot to vlog the rest of the night. I also look and sound like crap, so I'm trying to hide my dark circles, but in reality, I'm a human being. And I look like a fucking sewer rat when I wake up in the morning. Today is release day, baby. I'm going to get a massive cup of coffee, beat the face, and then I will talk to you guys again. Honestly, it tastes like shit, but it feels so good. Hello, I have beat the face though. To be honest, it didn't do very much. I'm currently in the process of prepping my shit before I start therapy. Since our entire society is now on the internet, there is a social media platform for everything. There's like 12 social media platforms now. So it's been easier for me to just prep all of my posts, say what I need to say, have them ready to go so that I'm not like, oh, I really wanna like say something meaningful here, but I feel like I'm like rushing because I have to get a post on Twitter and I have to get a post on TikTok and I have to get a post. That's too much. So I need to make sure that all of my posts are ready and that I get to spend like quality time writing them because otherwise what the fuck is the point? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm not a producer, but like Loki, I might be a producer. Check this shit out.
it's not like done yet and I also like don't know what I'm doing but the fact that I can even do any of that with some like string situation girl I'm about to do some crazy shit why do my fingers look like carrots okay <laughs> I look clinically insane right now and you're probably like girl what the fuck I wasn't gonna film to be honest because obviously I look like a fucking hot mess but uh the whole point of doing vlogs is to uh show real life experience and like what my life looks like and this is it my song just came out which is exciting i know it looks like i'm like upset i'm not upset it's happy tears it's just i just feel really overwhelmed I i've had a really tough time what the fuck girl get it together this is what happens when you're in aries like if you're really happy you cry if you're really angry you cry if you're frustrated you cry if you're overwhelmed you cry any emotion the immediate response for aries is just to cry <laughs> i've been really going through it because i feel like i'm kind of going through a growing pains moment where i'm like realizing things about myself and learning more about myself um setting boundaries learning what is like important for me and like my own worth and like letting myself feel excited about things because I'm someone who like I gets scared of failure so I just pretend like nothing's exciting when in reality everything is exciting. It's very easy to be in this industry and forget why you do it. I've recently felt super connected with the community and you guys and that has made me so emotional. The messages that I get from you guys. What the fuck? The messages that I get from you guys were not even like, yo, it's so good, good job. This is so hard to do. I don't know how people make apology videos. <laughs> the messages weren't even like, yo, good job. Like, that's a great song. I had a lot of those, but the messages were like, yo, thank you so much for taking the time to like make this. Like, we really genuinely appreciate you as a person. It really means a lot because that's how I view you guys. And that's how I view everyone who listens to my music. I never expect anything from everyone. I don't expect anyone to listen to my music. I don't expect anyone to like it. Um, I make music because I enjoy it and I hope that it can help somebody else because music has helped me in so many ways. We really have created such a beautiful community. Um, and this is gross. <laughs> Sorry, fast friends. <laughs> I feel like we've all really gotten so close together especially with our discord and it's really given me a new perspective on making music and like reminding me why i do it not getting so caught up in like all of the business bullshit uh that nobody fucking cares about <laughs> at the end of the day the whole point is just to make music that we love to help other people uh, so i'm really happy and i feel really good which is why i'm crying i'm just feeling very uh grateful damn i thought this video was gonna be boring as hell but y'all got me fucking in tears this is gonna be a fantastic like <laughs> clickbait except it's not clickbait i'm just emotionally unstable <laughs> i'm just crying it out and peanut's literally just sleeping through it she's like girl get over yourself <laughs> the song is out thank you guys so much for listening to it if you have it means the world to me i hope you like it i hope you guys are enjoying these videos on here on youtube i know you guys know me best for making music, but YouTube is one of the places that I genuinely feel like I can be myself wholeheartedly and I don't have to feel like I'm trying to edit myself out so that people don't think I'm weird. Maybe this is too much, but um, I don't know. I like making these videos. So if there's anything that you'd like to see that doesn't require me to cry on camera and look like a mess, let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I love you guys so much. I should probably end the video here so that I don't like continue to cry and then never actually finish this vlog. This is gonna be the vlog from fucking hell to edit. <laughs> stay weird, stay spooky, drink your water, and I will see you on the internet. Bye!